Hello all and welcome back to this module on Blue Prism. In this module, I'm going to talk about web services in Blue Prism. So in Blue Prism, we can both expose any web service uh, which is hosted in our process or in our objects, or we can consume web services which are ex uh, available to us from external uh, parties. So first I'll show you how we can consume an external web service. So here I have a web service which is a WCF uh, service and uh, I'll just host this service by running it. So the service is running and this service has been hosted on this particular path. So I'll take this path and I'll go to Blue Prism. Now I need to consume this service. This service is running as we can see I need to consume this service uh, before uh, that let me show you what this service does this service exposes two methods called end and uh, add and multiply they both take two integers a and b and they add returns me the sum of those two numbers and multiplication returns me the product of those two numbers so let me consume this service so I go to system under system uh, if we are ex consuming external services under objects we have this option called web services I go there and then I click on the add service then uh, we give the U uh, URL of the web service description language so uh, my URL of web service description language is this uh, then I click on next if this service requires any kind of authentication, you can give that username password over here. And if client side authentication is required, you can give that over here. Click next. What's the time uh, that uh, would be used to uh, wait for the service to respond? By default, it says 10,000 milliseconds, which is 10 seconds. So I'm okay with 10 seconds wait time, uh, timeout time. Click next. It's going to talk to my service and it has successfully retrieved all the web service details. Click next. Now what all services are available under that path? There's only one service available by the name calc. So I select that. Click next. Which all methods I would like to include as part of my service? I'll keep both of them selected. Click next. Any name that you would like to give to this service? So I'll say calc web service click finish and this adds a service uh, in my blue prism so I have successfully configured an external web service inside blue prism now I can consume this so to consume this I go to the studio and I'll create a process I'll call this process uh, consuming external service click next uh, finish open it okay now to consume that service we can take an action stage open the action stage and the business object that I'm going to call is calc web service this is the same name that we had given to our web service when we were config configuring it inside the system uh, system room so action we can see we have two actions add and multiply so let's take add uh, it takes two integers a and b so let me pass these two numbers 5 and b is 7 so uh, it should be able to add these two numbers 5 and 7 and under outputs it will return me this uh, add result so let me store this in a data item by the same name so I'll click on this button which will create this data item add result for me okay so I am adding these two numbers 5 and 7 and getting the result back into add result so click OK. Let's link it. And we'll run it. So we can see it's able to call my web service and get the result from it as 12. So that's how we can consume external services. Okay. Now let me show you how we can expose our services through Blue Prism. For example, let me save this. I'll create a new process. Create a process. Okay. okay so this is my uh, calc 
service from blue prism okay i've created i'm creating a calc service inside blue prism and uh, this would be a simple service it will take two numbers so open the start stage we'll add two uh, rows so this is num1 and its data type is a number we'll store it in the same name num1 and then this is num2 which we will store in num2 okay so i have these two where it will take two inputs num1 and num2 both are of type numbers so let's click ok now we need to do some calculation on it so i'll take a calculation stage open it i'll say add numbers and we'll take these two numbers num1 plus num2 and we'll store this in result okay so click ok Oops. let me delete this i don't need action stage and we'll link this okay so it will take two numbers and we'll sum these numbers up and we'll store that in result i need to send this result back so through we can send it through the end stage we we'll right here this is the add result and we will send the result okay so we are sending the result as an add result from this uh, process okay so i'll close this so i've created a simple uh, process over here now how do i expose it through blue prism as a service so to do that we go to the system manager and here to expose processes as a service uh, we go to processes exposure if we had a object and we wanted to expose that as a web service we could we would have gone to objects and exposure same like uh, it also has a same interface object exposure so i need to expose a process so i go to process exposure and click on expose a process link which is there on the to uh, top right so click on that select the service that i need to expose as a process so this is my service calc service from blue prism click next you can give uh, any name to this service okay sorry this is the name of the process so click finish and we have exposed this process as a service now how uh, so this is how we can consume it sorry expose it now how do we verify that i have exposed a service so if i go to a browser on this link localhost colon 8181 slash ws ws stands for web service if i ref when i had uh, launched it earlier it was showing none of my processes or business objects exposed as a service now i have exposed a service as a process so let me refresh this so now i can see that a service has been exposed at this particular uh, address http then this is my machine name colon 8181 which is the port name slash ws for web service and then calc service from bp question mark wsdl so using this address if we provide this address to anyone uh, they should be able to call my service let me consume the service within blue prism itself so this service has been created in blue prism and i'm going to consume also within blue prism so we'll go to objects web services i'll create another service by clicking add service i need to give the path over here so i paste the path uh, local uh, computer name colon 8181 slash ws slash calc service from bp question mark wstl click next now this service uh, is running behind blue prism which needs authentication so i need to provide the authentication credentials so click next timeout 10 seconds and it has successfully retrieved all the web service details click next we need to select the service that i need to consume so this is the service name click next there is only one method in it calc service from pp click next uh, any name that you want to give i'm fine with this name click finish and this service has now been uh, configured to be used within blue prism so now if i go to here and uh, if i go to 
uh, maybe I'll create or maybe I'll open this one only and uh, earlier I was calling an external service okay so this was calling external service now what I'll do is I'll create uh, I'll take another action which will call the internal service calling internal service and the business object that I'm going to use is under web services I have this calc service from blue prism service so I'll select that and it has just one method which takes two numbers num1 and num2 let me call this 20 and this says 5 so I'm passing these two numbers 20 and 5 output I would like to store that output inside uh, add result okay and click OK and I would like to uh, maybe take this path okay reset and then run it so we can see it's able to call the service which has been exposed from uh, this process calc service from BP and I'm getting the result of 20 plus 5 which is 25 so that's how we can uh, both expose services as uh, expose both the processes and objects as web services as well as consume any external web services inside processes and objects